Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 22 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. And in today's episode, we're going to be starting some Farts Nouveau. Now, I remember this mod way back when it was Ars Magica. So, kinda am familiar with it, but a lot of things have changed. It's like a whole new mod, I guess. So, I went ahead and uh, was looking into it. And to start out, you have to make this worn notebook. It's like a book for it. I don't believe you had a book uh, for Arts Magica. Uh, you pretty much just had to look look stuff up to find stuff out. Uh, so these books are are amazing. I love them. But it's got like a little uh, getting started section. And that's what I'm on here. Uh, getting started. And I did the uh, spell casting section, which goes and explains about the spell casting, the book. And I got the tools. I had to use nine iron uh, to, um, and a book, which I have leather and paper now. So, um, that wasn't a problem. So I now have a nice little novice spell book. Uh, so that's cool. And let's see, uh, the next section was spell mana, which is Talking, uh, I would definitely love to get some mage armor with mana boost or mana regen uh, enchantments, but right now I don't. I don't even have. Well, I did uh, like find some armor, but I don't even have a full suit. I don't have pants on, so uh, uh, maybe we can do some bronze or something for pants later. Um, and then that would be uh, a full suit, but, <laughs> uh, or we could look in further into some mage armor, because that would be super duper cool and fantastic. Um, so this talks about adding glyphs to your spell book to also increase your mana. So we need to get a spell going. That would be cool. But, uh, we need to, uh, let's see, what I was on was obtaining source gems using a dowsing, you can, I don't know, what you would be dowsing for. To obtain source gems, you must first build an imbuement chamber. I don't, I just don't know what the dowsing rod is. An imbuement chamber imbues items inside it with swords and will for to, to obtain a source gem place an amethyst or lapis inside your imbuement chamber. Wait. Uh, but I don't know what source is. I budding amethyst. Oh, we have that whole moonlit valley that's full of these budding amethysts. Does that gather source? That would be the perfect place for a magic thing then. So we need the source jar to gather our source. Source is a special resource that must be gathered using devices in the world. Source is used for powering devices like the imbuement chamber and enchanting apparatus. To begin gathering source, you will need a source jar and a source link. Okay, so we need this and this source jar. Uh, so it looks like just, oh yeah, I had to go and uh, Ars Nouveau has some trees called the Archwood and they have different, um, I guess, types uh, like this tree here is Ars Nouveau and it's called the Flourishing Archwood. 
but I like this tree <laughs> and I wanted to keep it. So I went and looked for another tree and there was one nearby, like over, over here. Like you can still see a little bit of the blue leaves, but I found a, I think it was a cascading, cascading arch wood. And it gave me like 65 logs and a few saplings. So that's nice. Um, maybe we should make this our little arts and bow area. So we got this imbuement chamber, but you can't use that until you have source. So what does the source jar take? Oh yeah, we just figured that out. Some glass and some slabs. So we can totally do that. Uh, I think here we got a couple of extra glass up here. And one more log. And do we get the recipe? Oh, look, we get a scribe's table. I remember that. Uh, what does the scribe's table take? Oh, look at that. A lapis double. Wild. Um, if you push control and hold it, it opens it up. How nice. Um, source jars store source gathered from nearby source links. Sources used in glyphs and rituals by powering devices like the human chamber and chanting apparatus. Source may be moved using a bucket or the jar can be picked up and moved. To use source in a jar, simply place the jar near your de desired device. Source jars will provide a signal to redstone comparators based on their fill level. Okay, so now we need the source link, the ergonomic source link. I don't understand. How are you supposed to get this to work if you don't have any source to put in your source link? Like, how do you get a source gem? You need two of them. Bonus man is generous. Okay, so oh, let's read this because the, the ergonomic source link generates source from nearby crop and tree growth. Interesting. Uh, bonus mana is generated for magical plants such as mage blooms, sourceberry bushes, <laughs> and archwood saplings. Source will be output from the source link to nearby jars within five blocks. Bone milling crops will not grant source. Well, that is so cool. Uh, but I still don't know how to get the two source gems to make this. Uh, sources, it must be gathered using device. Sources used for power devices like the human chamber, a source jar, and a source link. Um, I'm, I'm stumped. Okay, maybe, maybe we can uh, place the thing down and it just works. Uh, it looks like we'll need two of them. Uh, two, so we need two lapis. Oh, there we go. Um, I don't know if it would be, oh, let's get some source berries, because that would be cool. Um, I wonder how, like, close it has to be, they...
Um, oh my goodness. I'm so glad I listened to those footsteps. Like, what the heck? <laughs> it's my island. <laughs> and I'm running for my life. It's not really, I guess it is an island. It's a pretty big island though. Okay. Plan of attack. Plan of attack is to attack. Where'd you go, creepy? You're following me. I know it. Don't want you. Where did he go? Oh no. Um, okay, I see him on the mini map behind me. Ah! Whoa! No! Oh, only two hits with this big ol' axe. Thank you. Okay, we're clear. We're clear. We don't have any other mobs. Okay, so we have the imbue chamber we need to imbue the, the lapis to turn into the source gem. We have the source jar to gather the source, but we don't have anything to actually create source. So I wonder if the source jar will just gather stuff on its own, maybe? don't know. Um, too fair. What if I place these source berries? Does it have, I guess it might have to be fully grown source jar or six berries. Um, and maybe one right there. And then all you have to do is place the imbuement chamber nearby. Place the imbuement chamber obtaining source gems. Okay. Imbuse items decided with source and we'll convert them to obtain a source gem. Place it. Okay, so we just place it in there and wait. Right? Oh, these look so cool. I love it. Uh, they they were pretty pricey with my gold, though. Oh, look at it. It's going. Maybe it just takes it longer if you don't have source. It does look like it's sucking source in. Um, like. Understand, um, there's no like progress meter or anything, so no telling how long this is going to take. Um, and we got to make another one because we need two. I guess we could uh, get that source relay, source splitter, volcanic source link. Source jar, source relay, warper, deposit. See, some of this stuff is new and wasn't in uh, Arts Magica. So, source berry pie? That sounds really good. A mage balloon, sugar, and egg. from seeds crafted using the enchanting apparatus but uh, let's see I haven't seen any mage blue maybe there's some over in that moonlit uh is there there's a mage bloom fiber a mage bloom seed okay so you have to have a seed and four source gems? Is that what I'm seeing? An enchanting apparatus. Look at that. Ooh, arcane stone, iron, and a diamond. That's interesting. Oh, we need more source gems for that. Oh, look, it turned into one. It 
too terribly long, I guess. And I wasn't even paying attention. So, um, I was considering how to get fortune uh, because I'm doing a lot of mining with my hammer. And I thought it would be nice to get fortune on the diamonds and all the ores that I'm gathering. Um, since we can't, I didn't even know this. I, I haven't played a modded Minecraft for 118 before. This is my very first modded uh, mod pack for 1.18. And they changed how the, oh there, look, I just saw it happen. Nice. Okay, so we got two of those. And we can make our, what was it we were trying to make? Let's look in the book. Um, so where's the ergonomic source link? So we got to have two more gold and a wheat. Um, we do have gold. While I was mining, I found a nice bag of gold of eight so I had like six no I didn't have 16 gold because I think you can't double or double anymore because or is now affected by fortune so they're not doing or doubling they're only doing like uh, one and a third of the or because apparently or doubling fortune or would just be wrong. Uh, so nobody is or doubling anymore. Uh, it's 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 sad because that was like one of the big bonuses to playing modded is that you got to double your or because uh, you need so much more or when you play modded. Um, you do way more things with all your stuff and things than in a normal, normal Minecraft. Although I, you know, if you do pretty late game stuff in Minecraft, you could take some pretty obnoxious amounts of iron. Oh, dude, and I just like harvested this not too long ago. I just need that guy. What do you? Okay, I had like a little bit of lag. Um. I think is it this way or the other way? Must be the other way. There we go. Ergonomic source leak. Uh -huh. And let's go get this back over to our little Ars Nouveau stuff. Yeah, I like it that that space is getting filled up. Okay, so what do I what do I get to play with? Uh, generate source from nearby crop and tree growth. Bonus minutes generated from plants such as mage blooms. Okay, this is what needs the source berries. Source will be output from the source link to nearby jars within five blocks. Okay, so there's my source jar. Um, so I need to get, is it working? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's, I guess I need a crop or something. I have these saplings, but I don't really... Maybe if I just put um, one or two around, it won't grow. But it doesn't look like it's doing anything. But I need to go sleep. I guess I could light this area up and I wouldn't have to worry about the mobs coming to eat my brains. Okay. And a boop. Oh, like Aris Magica used to be like one of my 
favorite magic mods along with you know Batania just came out at that time and Batania was just the baby mod in like was it magic island they did like uh, blood magic Batania Ars Magica Thongcraft it was just the all magic mod pack uh like a survival island type thing and uh, that's like one of my favorite mod packs Okay, um, what, I guess we could get a crop or two. Oh, I want my seed over there. I do have these seeds, but I don't know. I kind of want the wheat over there, uh, because I think the, uh, the color will... really just uh, well i guess this this gold is looking really nice too uh, but i still want the wheat um because it'll it's not green <laughs> a lot of the plants are green when they grow and this one turns the, the wheat color you know <laughs> Uh, yeah, three, three sounds like a perfect number. We'll just plant those around and see if that helps. I don't know. This is, um, pretty different from Ars Magica. Uh, oh, we need a hoe. Oh, I have my hoe over at the farm area. That's correct. So now I have one for here. Um, I've got to get my seeds ready because I'm not going to have water over here. Oh, look, that looks like um, it's, uh, oh, look. There's source. It, it looks like hydrated farmland. Is it because of this tree? Is it is it a magical tree? Um, maybe put one. We have source. It's true. Look at it. <laughs> awesome. So, oh, look, we get little particles and stuff coming up. Um, do I want to put maybe, I don't know if these grow uh, with like a one one wide tree because there are two I do don't want them to like grow and get tangled in that tree over there because this one is flourishing and these are cascading I don't know all right what next we got that set up and what does it say to do next? Uh, we got the source link and the source jar. We did not make a dowsing rod because it takes a gold. <laughs> um, it takes another gold. And what is it? A dowsing rod? Uh, Scrying for budding amethyst and magic find, which will cause magical creatures to glow with this. Okay, I don't need to search for budding amethyst. I know exactly where they are. Um, there's like a, a whole ton of them over in that moonlit valley, just like everywhere. 
So sneak e increase. Nice. <laughs> oh, I just love that. Uh, let's get a little snack since I stepped on the berry. All right. What what do we do once we have all our stuff? Um okay, so now we have our stuff, we can make a glyph to put and actually make a spell. Accessing new spells will require a small amount of setup, resources, and base building. New spells can be learned by obtaining glyphs. Glyphs are created using the scribes table with experience and items. Once you have obtained a glyph, simply use it to memorize the glyph. See the section on the scribes table for more information. Ooh. Oh, it did grow into a tree. No. Uh, I didn't want that. It's just. Uh. Okay, maybe I need to chop this down. Uh. <laughs> oh, I thought you would need to make a little two by two pattern and it would be with the dark oak. So I was hoping I can just have a sapling, you know, sitting there, maybe. Uh... Oh, look, I just saw it shoot into the jar. That's pretty cool. So I don't know if that's helping it because it said uh, in the obtaining source gems and source organon source link generates source from nearby crop and tree growth so is it the actual growing or just the placement of it nearby so if i have another tree here would that help too it looks like it's doing stuff more maybe it should but i would definitely want it a little bit further away because those are pretty big trees right maybe if i put it right there i don't want it to be too too crowded Awesome. Okay, so let's get back to um, the glyphs. The scribes table is the next step. To craft new glyphs, uh, we'll try to get the scribes table going and, and then we'll call the episode because it's getting close. To craft new glyphs, use a spell book on the table to open the codex. Each glyph requires a set of items and experience points to unlock. Okay. Uh, select a glyph by clicking on it in the menu and hit select. Throw the items onto the table as rendered above, and the table will scribe a new glyph. The table will also pull items from nearby inventories. You may also write a specific spell to spell parchment or enchanter's items. To do this, place a spell parchment on the table. Then with your spell book in hand, change your spell book to your desired spell as if you were going to cast it. Then use the book on the table while sneaking your item will not contain that spell. Spell parchment. Wow, you gotta have four gems. Okay, this is what we need, a scribe's table. So we need some more slabs. No problem. We got plenty of wood slabs. Um, oh, we needed sticks. That's right. I think I might have a few more sticks in there. Um, there we go. The scribes table. Um. It looks so dark over here. Uh, I would like some type of magical light over here. Do they? 
but they have like white, white, mage light sconce. Oh, oh, is that just going to be the holder? Is that an actual light? I don't know, but let's try it out. Um, let's see, need source gem and two gold ones. Uh, but we'll get asleep first. Yeah, definitely don't want mobs spawning in that area. I'm going to have stuff sitting out in the open. Oh, I forgot. My gold is over here. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit different. Uh, the trees are different. I do remember ours matching the trees, but oh, we got nuggets already. I I needed a nugget for, but I used it. Um, oh, we need the the little source over here. Oh. Okay, I'd like a source down, please. Oh, look at it go! This is great. I guess it's going to reduce the amount of time. Yeah. That's much faster. So if we do this, uh, uh, where can I put it? Oh, dude, I think it's just a holder, not a light. Did not go. Boo! <laughs> Boo! Ouch. I was expecting that to actually hold something. Maybe, maybe if we had a candle, it would hold the candle. I don't know. But I don't, I don't have a candle. Bleeding. A jar of light. Oh. Four glowstone and two redstone lamps. Okay. Uh, well, we got our scribes table. Um, let's put it like right here. Oh, look at that. I love the purple in there. It goes really good with the purple from Source Berries. Maybe that's where it gets the color. Okay, so do I open this? <gasps> look! Give me back. <laughs> um, okay, so I can only, do I click on this? Click on this? Uh, okay, what does it say? The craft new glitz needs a spellbook on the table to open the codex. Each glyph requires a set of items and experience points to unlock. Um, but it doesn't do anything. I don't get a list. Don't get a list. Sneak. You. Throw the items onto the table as rendered above, and the table is practically. Like, I don't, I don't know. Oh, this is my worn notebook. That's why. Okay. Aha, there we go. Now we have all the 
gliss. Now this this I can do. Um, I wonder is there like a search? Okay, is there like a fortune? I wonder if look at the some because I can't figure out how to get Tinker's Construct uh, fortune. Like a rabbit's foot? Is that what it takes? Requires five levels. Okay. Uh, so I would like to break. I'm not sure that I can even do that now. Uh, tier I'm pretty sure I'm stuck with like the tier one stuff so what is oh so it must not be it's tier two so we can't do fortune until tier two what do you have to have for tier two I think you have to have a better spell book let's look uh, right now we have the novice spellbook. Ah, and here's the mage spellbook, an uh, archmage, and the creative. I guess this is probably something we're not going to be able to get. Yeah, it doesn't even have a recipe. So what does this take? Uh, a novice book, obsidian, three diamonds, some quartz, and blaze rods. Oh my goodness, so we're going to have to go to the nether before we get the fortune? I don't, I don't know that that's the way I want to go then. We might have to divert over into getting our enchanting uh, setup done. Um, I wonder if all of this stuff would be better over in the moonlight area like there'll be so many more uh flowers and plants it might just be better over there i don't know maybe we'll we'll look at it <laughs> we'll think about it and I'll go ahead and call the episode here uh thank you for watching and we'll see you next time Bye bye